Very well, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Is the Orphan Filgana. Is 3 the Orphan Filgana. Last time we defeated the boss at the bottom of the abandoned mines. And now we're gonna go ahead and teleport back to town, upgrade our gear, and do a few side quests. That's probably all we're gonna do today. And then we're gonna start the mountain off next time. We'll see about that. Anyway, first things first. Hi there. Well, for this new year on the block, I don't quit. I was just checking in for an appointment to get my spear all sharpened up and ready for action. I don't like leaving my post unattended, but that's no less dangerous than facing monsters with a dull weapon, you know. Uh, we'll get equipped and tempered real quick. We'll max this out. We'll max this out. If you happen to not have enough rabble for it, but you should, uh, this is a little side quest that we can do right now. Sorry. I'm getting hiccups, sort of. Uh, that will give us some revile. Also, I want to talk to the merchant. There you are. Uh, 50 chunk for a lot of gold. Yeah, I'll sell you that. This is my gold. Okay, what do you want? 200, right? And I believe that's the last one. And if we give him 200 over, he will give us something cool in return. Hey, Mr. Adol. You want to play a game with me? Sure. Really? You'll play? You're super awesome, mister. I want to play treasure hunt. Except, you'll be the hunter and I'll be the pirate with all the booty. Arr! Have us ease, Kaliwag. Me treasures have been hid all across this scarvy town. And you're the only one who can find it. There'll be four stashes of rich stuff. If you can find them, you'll be the king of pirates. Now go for it make you walk the plank. So what we have to find are chunks of our Valhor. Uh, I believe one's around here. No? Wait. No? One is by the Pickards, I believe. Yeah, that's one. Also, you get to keep this, and I believe it's 50 Raval in total? She might give you a, a fifth one once you're done. One is in the church. It's up there. Uh, to get it easily, you can just use this ladder. Go up, and... There you go. Oh, no, this one's 20, so it's like 10, 10, 10, 20. I believe. At all, Feather Pierre is yet to return. Yeah, he's sort of like in prison. We're working on it slowly. I mean, we're not, we're not really working on it. The the, the other guy's working on it. The the Archbishop was it the Archbishop? No, it's the Bishop. The, just the Bishop, right? Uh, other revival or we have one near this house, which is um. Elena's house. And the last one... I believe it's in the inn. Behind the counter. Over here. There it is. And that's that. That's the side quest done. So we're gonna go back to Anya. You're in a bus, Mr. Adol. Did you find old me hidden treasure? So what do you think? Was it super tough to find them all? Did I sound like a real pirate? I bet I did. So you know what? You can keep it. You did a really good job for finding it, so I'm going to give it to you as a present. See you later, mister, but you gotta come play again real soon, okay? And that is that. Can I buy anything with this money? I have 7k. Maybe. No. It's all very expensive here. We'll have the money for all this stuff eventually. And don't you worry about that, the next dungeon will give us the money. Let's see what else we can do. Uh, okay. We have that one. So this one... We have to run all the way back to where we begun the game. Do we get upgraded enemies? I believe we, have, we got this for a while now. Yeah, but the enemies, like, I think they upgrade twice. So they upgrade now. They're the first upgrade stage, and then they upgrade one more. I believe, I don't know. I'm pretty sure they upgrade at least once more. We can still kill them, really. Are they giving... No, nah, they're not really giving that much experience, but... Nah. Sure. Every little bit helps. I guess.
Hallo? I'm sorry. I knew it was dangerous with all the monsters around, yet I still left the safety of the town unes unescorted. My brother would always bring me here when I was little. You can't look out at the entire Siena Bay from here. Isn't it beautiful? If you look over there, you'll see Gino's Island. Supposedly an ancient tribe used to live there. I don't know what happened to them, but I heard they all died out. Chester used to come here and just sit quietly looking out of the water, and I often joined him. He was so peaceful, yet there was always such sadness in his eyes. Even back then, I could tell he had something on his mind, but I could never bring myself to ask him what it was. So we just sit together and watch the water until it got dark. I don't really remember anything from when I was just a little girl. My first real memories are from when Papa first took us in. I don't know where I lived or what kind of people I was before that. I don't even have any clue as to what would make me forget so much. But I think my brother remembers at least some of it. That's the impression I always got anyway. Whenever we would sit out here... Sorry, I must be boring you to tears. I should probably get back to town. Would you excuse me at all? Uh, oh no. It's still light out, so I should be safe for the monsters. Dude, have you seen all the monsters that are from here? Like, how did you get here? Like, I go here because I just kill them in two hits, but you don't even have a weapon. What, did you just convince them not to fight you? But you won't take no for an answer, will you? If you insist, then I shall humbly accept your offer. And this is the second escort quest in the game. It's... It's somewhat of the same difficulty of the other one. Alright, shall we then? Uh, same deal. Use your fire spell <laughs> to snap the enemies from afar. That's all there is to it. Okay, she's still with me. I have to... Yeah. These two dudes, we're gonna do that. We're gonna line up. Okay. Yourself a little bit of an advantage right here. Also remember the flowers are your worst enemies because they have ranged attacks. They can easily hit Alina. Like that guy over there. Do now that and you're dead. Thank you. Oh, don't touch her. Don't touch her. Did, did she get hit? I don't think she did. Gimme, gimme. Okay, but it's like that one's not even that far. And I think the flowers are gone. So no, there's one more. Town. There's one more. No. Stop. Don't do that. It's bad. Thank you. And if you just go carefully, you should be fine. There's one more flower. We're just gonna dodge those monsters. Get the dog. Forget about the flower. This is the starting area over here, and we're we're done, really. Yep. Oh no, there's one more. One more area. Okay. And that is that, right? Also, there, I believe there's a there's a, an achievement. Uh, if you do this, it's part of the perverted at, pervert pervert adult line of achievements that started with the, the remake of his one, and then continued in his two, and then continued in this one. I believe that's what you have to do to get it. I'd love to stay in chat with you, but I promise Margot to help her at the end. I guess you have things of your own to take care of, though. Anyway, you were looking into the abandoned mine, right? Hope our work together just now wasn't an imposition. Good luck, and I do pray you're able to figure things out. Uh, I've actually done with the mine. Thank you. All right then. Now we have uh, treasures we can get with double jump. First of all, we're gonna go to Quarry Storehouse. I believe that the very top of this area there is a small platform we can go to now. Rod wide this way. Although this is just gonna give me money probably. Also. Oh dude, I have a casual elixir. I didn't even use that. I'm an idiot. Could have had a little bit more HP. Yeah, this platform here wasn't accessible before. This has a lot of money in it. Well it's like tw twelve twelve by hundred. Yeah, it is what it is. 
The other one, it's in... What is it? Is in the... Double Ruins? Yeah, top side. So this is where we fought uh, the dragon boss, dragon bad, whatever it is, act that is. But if you remember, there's a little a bit of an area over here that we couldn't climb up to, and now we can. We have more money. I believe a cattle elixir if we keep going, which is nice. How about these guys? Old enemies here, though. We're expecting a little bit more updated enemies, but nope. Yeah, it's an odd cattle elixir. And that. Um. Yeah, let's just pop it. Nice XP up. Well, we only are 10 minutes in, man. I want. I don't want this to be too short of an episode. What the hell can I do? Nothing. Okay, so now th this thing right here. I'm gonna save the game. I'll have to close this game. I'll see you in a second. And here we are. So I wanted to show you something real quick. Here, you're supposed to double jump and go up there. Guess what? I can't do that. Why? Because this game at least in the Steam version, as a game-breaking bug. You cannot do this jump. No matter how hard you try, this will always happen. And the way you fix this bug, is not even you can't even fix this one, it's just, the fix, it's just a weird thing. But essentially there are two EXE files on the folder of this game. There's the e normal EXE and then the, the DirectX 9, right? In the DirectX 9, this does not happen. So if you're playing the normal one, this will happen. If you're playing the, Dir the DirectX 9, it will not happen. I'll show you. I'll close the game. I'll see you in a minute. And here we are. Uh, this is the DirectX 9 executable file. And just like that, I'm able to do the jump. Yeah. <laughs> it's super weird. But well, here we are in the Elder Mountains. Oh, this is something I can do. I'm going. It'll take just a second. At this point, since we're n we're only 13 minutes in, more or less, I may be able to do another boss. There's the Alpha boss of the mountain. We can do that. Uh, we have to go over here. I don't think you have to do this, but... Might as well talk to you. I don't think I talked to him, right? Hey, Mr. Adol, there's something I want to ask you. My little Picard bodies have been several under the weather lately. Looked up their symptoms and it sounded like they got themselves some kind of disease. But how? I mean, they've always pampered them and showered them with love and protection. So I'm calm they got sick. They never gotten sick on my watch before and certainly not this badly. I think they might even be dying. They just keep getting getting weaker and weaker. There's an herb called a berm leaf that grows in the Elder Mountains. It's supposed to be like a picker cure-all. It's kind of rare not to find that I'm too young and fragile to scale those icy monster infested slopes. I just don't know what to do. What I need is a hero who will risk all for great justice and cute pickers. You don't even accept this quest, you just talk to him. And now, we're attached to find uh, four of those burn leaves. They're scattered throughout the, the dungeon, even as to almost at the boss, I believe the last one is. Gonna have to look in the background for him. And this is where we'll start getting the next year of equipment. Ow, forgot about you guys! They're barely visible enemies. Be careful. Lots of enemies you just want to stun and move in with. And I need elf already, wow. Well, I got my elf with the level up. What do I need for the next boss? More, two more. So these guys, they hide on the ground. You can barely see their fins sticking out. And all you gotta do is stun them. They're very easy to stun if you can see them in, in advance. And if you don't, you'll be in over for the birth. That's the only attack they do. They really just jump at you and that's it. And then they hide back down. And there's tons of them. Usually they're not that bad. You know when they're the worst? When they come with other enemies. And here we need to actually concentrate a little bit. 
Uh, bees. Why do you exist? Oh, thank you, health. Thank you. Okay, for once, you actually help me. But now, for real, bees are actually useful because they often drop health, it seems like. But. Oh. Yeah, they're easy to kill. So that's neat. Also, there's the first bam leaves. You have to be very careful. And. Yeah. Just pay attention on the backgrounds. They like to hide them in weird places. Can you please go? You're, you're not. Thank you. You're not welcome here. None of you guys are. Okay, here's another one. Uh, can I? Can I? Please? Thank you. Trying to kill every single enemy inside so I get all the experience I need. I'm gonna drop down here and do that. Also, bees are very vulnerable to the wind spell. 90 rebel ore. We don't even. We can't even use that. I mean, if we find 20 more pieces, uh, we'll be able to get a lot of money from the merchant. Then. Also, I don't think. No, I didn't say it last time, but the big dudes in the mines have a chance of dropping Revolve Ore. They're the first enemies that do so, I believe. Uh, we'll find more enemies here that can do that, especially the bigger version of these bees later on. They can definitely do that. Uh. Can you not? Ow. Fortunately, don't always get the stun. And when you don't, that's annoying. Alright, these plants are plants, so guess what? They take a lot of damage from fire. Also, you cannot hit them with the sword uh, when they their weird... Uh, what's the word for it? I can't remember the word for that thing. Uh, it's... Words are hard. Blades. <laughs> when those blades they throw, when they have the attached to them, you can't hit them at all. With the sword at least. I guess you can hit them with fire. Why not? Also, hey, fire. Also, I mean, no fire. Ice. Guess what? Ice, you melt it with fire. No surprise there. Right now it's sort of useless, but really, can you can you do this with the with wind? No. Yeah, only fire works. I believe the the third spell also works. We haven't gone that yet, but it will be. T we'll get it during this dungeon. I'm planning to just get to the boss, the mid boss, and do that. That's a fun one, but yeah. It yeah, has its own set of issues that can make it extremely hard. If you don't know what you're doing. 25. And yeah, we need... We need one more if we can. My notes say 26 for this boss. Alright, down here we go. And a lot more money. But hey, we're getting... We're at 15k right now. So we can probably buy a piece of equipment once we're at the boss and we're, can work back to town without losing too much progress. So yeah, definitely a good place to make money right now. Right, come on. Come on, it's been 20 minutes more or less. Boss is not too far. Can I double jump? Can I double jump? There you go. Okay, these guys. Do not mess with them. They should ice. You cannot do anything to them right now. Avoid them if you can. If there are other enemies, it's right to run. I don't know if there's anything here. Uh, there is. Nice. So we can sell that to the merchant. Also, welcome to Ice Physics, where everything pushes you. Even enemies that can spawn literally anywhere. Yeah, forget about the golems or whatever they are—the the stone enemies. Just, just, just don't. Right now, don't. 
Like, even later, they're a pain to fight when you get the ability to fight them. So don't bother. Don't bother. Listen to if someone has played this game, don't bother with them. Unless you have a lot of elf and you have the actual ability to fight them. Oh, thanks. Alright. We should arrive on the outside real soon and then we're gonna have to fight the boss. Do, 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 do. Can you stop jumping, please? I go this way, and thanks, it's optional, and this guy's in the way. But we get 70 more of all. Useful, because we're gonna have to spend 200 later. I believe here we have to do that. And grab this. I believe that's the third one. Yeah, we need one more, and I don't remember if it's before or after the boss. Might be after it. Boss is right here, actually. We just need to... We just need to, to climb up this place, and we're, we're at the boss. And also, there are these ninjas here. Uh, for some reason. Mm, really? I never question why certain enemies exist in ease. They, they exist, and that's it. That's all you gotta know. Yeah, one more. One more one more screen, right? If I do that, I believe yep. If bird leaves are here, that'll be great, but Okay, elf. Keep going. Ow. Right, come on, come on, come on, I can make it, maybe. Okay, then we have this guy over here, we're gonna let him jump. There's another dude down here. Okay, I think we can do this. Whoa, did not see it. Almost run out of things to say here. We're gonna... There's a chest there? How do I get that? Oh, I know. Okay. Here's a sneaky passage. There it is. Very sneaky. But we have 2k in there. Very nice. Well, we have... I don't know if we were able to get the Zord. But we can definitely get something out of the shop. Okay, what is this? Tell me your secrets game. Yes, more about ore, please. And then... Climb up. Can I... Can I not take damage from this guy anymore? Thank you. I took away four from my elf. How long is this? Like, I thought it was right here. No, wait. Is this the last one? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, so the last herb is actually in the next... Like, it's after the boss. But we're going back. See if we can upgrade our equipment. Uh, this boss can really do some damage to me. Gotta be careful. Gotta be real careful. Uh, what can I buy? Uh, I can't... No way, I can't buy the sword. I'm gone. That guy's gonna give me enough money for me to buy the sword, right? Okay, so I kind of skipped it there, but he was like, Oh, what's impossible? You have 200 go uh, revival or No way. Uh, I must admit, that's an impressive use of space, but doesn't it hurt? My mind is blown. You, have, you ever give any thought to becoming a merchant? You'd be a good one, I think. Anyway, what do you say? 200 revival or for 10,000 gold? Hell yeah, sounds fair. Gimme, gimme. Deal's done. Is it 10k. Thanks to you, I think I got all the Revalor I could ever need. Everybody wins, especially me. Let me tell you, if I can sell all these in Rom, I'll be an unstoppable one-man monopoly. 
But before I forget, I certainly do owe you for the help you've given me. Here you go, consider it a bonus for a job well done. We get Jade Ring. Which is very useful. Not immensely valuable, but you should still be able to get a decent price for it if you can find a buyer. Where they come from, you ask? Oh, I'll never tell. Consider a businessman prerogative. Just take it and go. I don't think we get any insight on that. No. But if you had to talk to all the NPCs, you will know what to do with it. Hello, Adol. What's this? A ring? Looks like a men's ring, but of much higher quality than I'm used to seeing. The design suggests it's Germanic in origin. It's quite beautiful. Oh, sorry. Got a little too in my work here, I think. So, uh, Adol. Might you be willing to part with this lovely ring? I'll make the transaction well worth your while. No. I see. Well, if you should ever change your mind, just say the word, okay? Uh, buy equipment. Give me the sword. Thank you, and that's that. Always get sword first if you can. Can we get... Uh, Raval 100... Yeah, I can get plus two. I'm here plus one. Uh, I can't get any more than that. That's fine. Equip that. Raise my attack, which is nice, because I'm gonna need it for the boss in a minute. Also, talk to this guy, and... Um... I was on this ring and made it to full-blown knighthood, but... Wait a second, where's my finger? Got nothing on it. Where's my damn ring? It's gone. It's really gone. Oh, I'm so screwed. Where the hell could I have lost it? I know I had it when I left for Valentin Castle. Hey, red old buddy, old pal. You haven't seen a strange ring lying around conspicuously, have you? Huh? Hey, red, can I see that ring you got there? That's my ring, all right. I recognize it anywhere. Come on, man. Help, I, help a guy out. Let me have it back, will ya? Sure. Oh man, thank you. I seriously owe you one. You're the best, Red. In fact, you know what? I got something I'd like to give you to show my appreciation. Talisman of War charges our boost faster. Which is nice. I come back home to my family and they won't bite my head off. Alright, I'm so ready for anything now. I believe it charges faster. Either charges faster or lasts longer. One of the two. Inventory. No, it's uh, it lasts more. Okay, that's fine. Alright, let's fight this damn boss so we can conclude the episode with a bang did I just work to the beginning I did it's a short fight unless I start you know messing around too much uh, it's yes yeah, it's fine yeah let's go let's do it Oh! Crap! I forgot! I always do this. The boss is not here. And you know why it's not here? Because I haven't done any stupid report to the mayor of the town yet. He hasn't told me to go up the mountain yet. I always go to the mountain because I know that's the next destination. Also, I know that's the next destination because of... Uh, you know what? I know it's the next destination because... Um, the freaking Geno's spirit says so, but you know what? We're gonna keep the boss for next time. How about that? We have we'll have a cutscene with the mayor, uh, and then we'll fight the boss next time, and we'll try to get to the next one. <laughs> I'll see how it goes. See you in the next episode, guys.